Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to learn, how to display CSV file, data import process on progress bar in PHP using Ajax jQuery. There are many viewers has requested us to publish, video tutorial on import CSV file data with progress bar in PHP by using Ajax. If there is large CSV file, and that file data we want to import into MYSQL database, then at that time it will take some time for import into MYSQL database. Then at that time, if we have display data importing process in progress bar, then user can understand how many data are process, and how many are remaining for process. For learn this things, we have make this video tutorial, which we have divided into three part, in first part, we will seen how to upload CSV file with validation using PHP with Ajax. In second part, we will seen how to import CSV data into MYSQL data, and in last part we will seen, how to display how many data are imported, on progress bar. Now let's start discussing this topic, so this is our testing database, and in this, we have one sample table, we will import CSV file data into this table. This is our working folder, here we have one file folder with, for PHP file like, index.php, import.php, process.php and upload.php. First we have go to index.php file, and here we have create one span tag, with id is equal to message, in this we will display success or error message. Below this, we have create one form with id is equal to sample form, method is equal to post, and encryption type is equal to multi-part form data, for upload file. Under this form, we have create one input file tag, with name, and id is equal to file, we will select csv file from this tag. Here we have create one hidden tag, with name is equal to hidden field, and value is equal to 1, this field value we will use for validate Ajax request. For submit form data, here we have write input type is equal to submit, name and id is equal to import, and value is equal to import, by click on this button, CSV file will be uploaded for import data into MYSQL table. Below this form, we want to make progress bar, here we have create division tag with class is equal to form group, id is equal to process. Here we have add style tag is equal to, display property set to none, so content of this division tag will be not display on web page. Under this, we have create one division tag, with class is equal to progress, this is default class of bootstrap for progress bar. After this, under this tag, we have create one more division tag, with class is equal to progress bar, progress bar stripped and active. In this tag, we have add role tag property set to progress bar, same here we have add aria value minimum property set to zero. Now we have write aria value maximum set to 100, 
so here we have define minimum and maximum value for progress bar using aria attributes under this class we have create one span tag with id is equal to process data under this tag we will display how many csv file data has been processed same way for display total number of csv file data here we have create another span tag with id is equal to total data now we have moved to write jquery code so here we have create one clear timer variable after this we have write dollar with form id sample form with on method and under this we have write submit event so when form has been submitted then this block of code will execute under this block we have write dollar with span tag id message with html method with blank value it will clear content of this tag below this we have write event dot prevent default method it will stop to refresh web page now we have start write ajax request so in this first option we have write url set to upload.php it will send request to this file in second option we have write method and in this option we can define form data submit method so here we have use post method for submit form data in third option we have write data and here we have write new form data object it will send data to server in the set of key value pairs in fourth option we have write data type here we can define data type in which format we want to receive data from server so here we have defined json data type in fifth option we have write content type which has been set to false in sixth option we have write cache option and it has been set to false in seventh option we have write process data option and this option property has been set to false lastly we have write success callback function this function will be called if request completed successfully under this function we have write if statement and under condition we have write data dot success if this condition true then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write dollar with span tag id total data with text method and under this we have write data dot total line it will display total number of csv file data same way we have again write if statement and under condition we have write data dot error if this condition true then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write dollar with span tag id message with html method and under this we have write data dot error it will display validation error on web page now we have moved to write php script so we have go to upload.php file and here we have write if statement with condition like is set function with dollar post hidden field variable if this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have create two variable like dollar error and dollar total line with blank value below this we have write session start function it will start session on this page 
Now we have right, if statement and under condition we have right, dollar files file name variable value is not equal to blank. Suppose this condition false, that means user has not select any file, so it will execute else block, and here we have write dollar error variable is equal to, message like please select file. But suppose user has select file, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write dollar allowed extension variable is equal CSV in array format. Below it, we have write dollar file array variable is equal to explode function with dot string delimiter, and in second argument we have write dollar files file name variable. It will make array from selected file, and from get extension from this array, we have write dollar extension variable is equal to and function with dollar file array variable it will get selected file extension now we have want to verify selected file extension is csv or not for this here we have write if statement and under condition we have write in array function with two argument in first argument we have write dollar extension variable and in second argument we have write dollar allowed extension. If selected file extension is found in dollar allowed extension variable array, then it will execute if block, otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose selected file extension not found, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar error variable is equal to message like only CSV file format is allowed. But suppose selected file extension is found then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar new file name variable is equal to rand function with dollar extension variable it will create new file name. Now we have write dollar session CSV file name variable is equal to dollar new file name variable. Here we have store new created file name under session variable. After this, we have write move uploaded file function with two argument like dollar files file temporary name variable and file folder name slash dollar new file name variable it will upload selected file under file folder below this we have write dollar file content variable is equal to file function and under this we have write file folder name slash dollar new file name variable it will fetch content of file after this we have write dollar total line variable is equal to count function and under this we have write dollar file content variable it will return number of rows in file. Now here we have write, if statement and under condition we have write, dollar error variable value is equal to blank. If this condition true, then it will execute if block and here we have write, dollar output variable is equal to array, with key error with value dollar error variable. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar output variable is equal to array.
with first key success, with value set to true, and in second key total line with value set to dollar total line variable. Lastly, we want to send response to AJAX request in JSON format, so we have write echo statement, with JSON encode function with dollar output variable, it will convert data into JSON string and send to AJAX request, now we have checked this output in browser. Friends, here we can see, when page has been load into browser, then on web page, we can see one simple form, for select file, with submit button. First we have directly click on import button, then on web page we can see validation error message like, please select file. So, we have select non-CSV file from file tag and click on import button, after click on import button we can see message like only CSV file are allowed, that means here validation working properly. Now we have select CSV file, and click on import button, after click on import button, here we can see success message on web page. So in this part, we have seen how to upload CSV file, in next part we will discuss how to import CSV file data into MYSQL database. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.